Hey guys, Casual Gamer 84. Welcome back to the game room. Today I have uh, some Black Friday pickups. I'll show you all what I got on Black Friday. Uh, both Black Friday deals and some items that I picked up on Black Friday, but they were not Black Friday deals. Uh, then uh, a pawn shop pickup and a GameStop pickup. So let's do this. Alright guys, so we're going to jump straight into Black Friday pickups. A few things that I got on Black Friday deal. Uh, most of them not gaming related, but it is still cool nonetheless. Uh, first, I picked up Spider-Man No Way Home 4K uh, Blu-ray uh, and digital code. Uh, I think that was like Twelve, thirteen dollars, something like that. Pretty good deal on that. Beat up the Batman. I really enjoyed this movie, uh, so I definitely wanted it in the 4K collection. Again, it's the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the digital code. Uh, this was ten dollars, nine ninety-nine on that one. Uh, and then this one, uh, I believe all these was at Best Buy. Um, this one, it's one of those movies that. Uh, it's it's timeless. Like it's it was good when it came out, uh, and it is good now. I was trying to see if there's a date on here of when it released, but I don't see one on here. Nineteen eighty-seven. Uh, so it released in 87 and then 2022 it's just as good uh, I've already watched it, the 4k version of it and I enjoyed it it's just one of those timeless movies that is The Lost Boys uh, and again it was 4k blu-ray and the digital code that was ten dollars as well We're glad to have those three 4k blu-rays in the collection um, the next two things was Walmart purchases uh, this one is gaming related and isn't gaming related. Uh, so I have some plans uh, of a few things that I can do with this and probably a deeper dive in an upcoming video. But I picked up a Lenovo Tab M8. Uh, it is the full HD version. Um, so it has a 1080 screen. Uh, it's running Android 11. It has three gigabytes of RAM. Um, not a super super um, high spec uh, mini tablet, uh, but it is cool uh, to have. And I got a cool, few cool things that I want to do with it. So glad to have that. The next one is a game, and I believe it was twenty dollars. I've not played it yet. Uh, and that is Sonic Colors Ultimate uh, for the Switch. Uh, it's been a while since I've added anything to the Switch. Uh, glad to picked up a Sonic game for 20 bucks. Uh, I've not played it like I mentioned, uh, but definitely looking forward to giving it a play. So the next thing was a Best Buy. Uh, and uh, it is gaming related, but it wasn't a Black Friday deal. I picked up the 8-Bit Do Ultimate 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller. Uh, they had this one in stock. That's why I went ahead and got it. Uh, I probably should have just waited and got the uh, uh, Bluetooth version. Uh, but I'm, I'm extremely happy with this. Uh, you can kind of see. I've already got it set up. I've already been using it. Uh, and I'm going to do a video on just this. Kind of go through the features and um, just how awesome it is. It is definitely one of the best controllers. Uh, that uh, that I've got. Uh, so the next uh, four games were uh, picked up on Black Friday uh, at a uh, like a flea market peddler's mall kind of deal in uh, my uh, hometown. And uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, 
I'm okay with them. Nothing super spectacular, but some more NES games for the collection. Picked up the Chess Master, and all these were three dollars a piece. Um, so I did pretty pretty good on them. Um, Ivan Stewart Super Off Road, again, three dollars. Uh, these are all ones that I did not have, and for three dollars for an NES game, uh, if it's not a sports title, uh, it's probably worth picking up at that price. And even some sports titles are fun on the NES and would be worth picking up at three bucks. Um, Iron Tank, and probably the best one of the lot is Rush in Attack, uh, Konami title, and it is a five screw. Uh, NES game, so glad to have four more NES games. Uh, $12 all in is a really good deal on that. I'm not sure what Russian Attack goes for, but I'd say it's probably close to the $12 mark. Uh, so, I basically, I bought this one and got these for free. So, the next uh, two NES games was a pawn shop that I go to feature on the channel before um, and they're not super good games I think they were uh, I want to say like seven or eight dollars a piece um, but um, still glad to have them in the collection in the collection Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum and then Total Recall So I added a total of six games to the NES collection, which is awesome. The last bit of stuff that I got was at GameStop. Excuse me. Um, and that's a, a whole other video coming about my experience there. Uh, but we'll go through the non-gaming. Well, I guess it is gaming related, but non-video games stuff. Uh, they have had a deal, or currently still have a deal, I do believe. 50% uh, off all their clearance stuff. Uh, and I believe this was on clearance for like $15. So 15, 50% off of that. So it was $7.50. Uh, and I picked a, it is by BST AXN. Um, I don't have any of their figures, but a foot soldier figure. Uh, definitely uh, we'll be doing it like an unboxing and see this up close on my other channel, Casual Gamers Toy Box. Um, I'll again inform you all when that video goes up. I haven't posted on that channel in a bit. Uh, but this is definitely be a uh, unboxing and kind of a closer look. The next thing they had was 50% off of all their Mario collectibles. Uh, which is awesome. With the new Super Mario Bros. movie coming out in April of next year. It looks awesome. I can't wait. Uh, I've got uh, some figures and stuff up there. I got a Bowser's Castle I got from my boy Dink. Uh, but they had them 50% off, so I got Bowser's Battleship uh, for 20 bucks, uh, and I think that was a pretty good deal on that. I think it was like 19 and some change, uh, but it was 50% off. Uh, so definitely uh, go to the other channel, Casual Gamers Toy Box, link in the description below. Uh, check out an unboxing of this and me setting it up. And then I got a game. I had a $10 coupon uh, that I used towards this game. It was uh, pre-owned for $14.99, so the $10 coupon was $5.99. Uh, and really, any Switch game for $5.99, you can't go wrong. Uh, but I picked up uh, Star Wars Racer and Commando Combo. It has Star Wars Racer and Star Wars Republic Commando 2-pack. Uh, so glad to add another game to the Switch collection. Guys, that's everything that I've picked up. Uh, really, I kind of picked up in November, to be honest. Uh, I didn't get out and do a whole lot of stuff. A few things here and there that you all seen in videos. Uh, this is the lump majority of it uh, for Black Friday, the end of November. Guys, uh, comment down below. Uh, what do you think the coolest thing that I picked up is? Uh, I think the coolest thing that I picked up was probably... Probably this controller, uh, my Abidu controller. Probably the coolest thing that I've got. Uh, this is the one thing that I get the most use of. 
out of all the stuff that, that, I, that I got. But guys, thanks for watching. If you already noticed that subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate that. Ring that bell for notifications. You'll be notified when I post a video for you. And hit that like button if you like the content. Guys, until next time.